here we are at one of the Mara crossing points that in just a few weeks is going to play out the struggle of the wildebeest and the zebra and the Thompson's gazelle as they attempt to navigate the dangerous waters and here is one of the reasons why it's an incredibly dangerous time for all of the animals that attempt to cross an absolutely massive crocodile and apparently each of these crossing points has their own resident male crocodile that lurks about you'll get other little ones but he is just patiently waiting lurking knowing that the time of plenty is on its way and they can go for incredibly long periods of time without feeding on anything. But of course, once the migration arrives, and at the moment as we speak, they're probably about, oh, I'm still not great on distances and where we are exactly. I would say they're about 50 or so kilometers away and getting closer as we speak. Oh, are you gonna go sunbathe? Look at that. He is enormous. What is, what are the, crocodiles that Brent named on Juma, Vlad the Impaler and, and Boris. They, <laughs> they shrink in comparison to the size of the up and enjoying a little bit of time sunbathing. Are those white faced whistling ducks? Apparently we're at something called, I look like, there are white-faced whistling ducks. Yeah. Yes, next to him there, exactly. He is indeed ginormous. I have no idea who sent that through. Sorry, we're talking back again about our crocodile. Um, somebody says that he's ginormous. He is indeed. He is absolutely ginormous. He's longer than me, easily. I wonder what he must weigh. A couple of hundred kilograms. He is absolutely gigantic. And you have to be. Um, each of these sort of crossings will be controlled by a big male that will fight off any potential rivals. All right. Onwards we shall go in search of other things and this crocodile is contemplating when his breakfast is going to arrive. Fortunately, that's not a problem that Tingana has.